Welcome back, everybody. Here is a question for you. Do you keep your fresh tomatoes in the fridge or out on your counter? And which is better? Well, the answer is in today's Taste Utah tip as Katie and Jamie talk to the chef of Martine. It's in Salt Lake City, and it's in this sponsored segment. Thanks, you guys. Welcome to Taste Utah Bites. We are in downtown Salt Lake City. Beautiful Eccles Theater behind us, beautiful City Creek Center in front of us, but we are at the historic Martine restaurant. James, I know why we're here. You know why we're here. You know that we're here to eat, but tell them a little bit more. Oh, yeah. Well, first of all, it's lunchtime, and we love to taste the flavors of downtown Salt Lake City, historical buildings, and incredible chefs and co owners of Martine, such as Ed. Uh, Chef Ed, what are you going to make for us today? I have our classic French onion soup and our French dip sandwich that uh, we've had on the menu for about 40 years now. Ooh, so um, we're getting a little French. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it all on right. the grill. So oh. you get that right on the flat top. Yeah. Start on the flat top. James, do you like the sound of that sizzle? Yeah. I like the sound of it because I know you like the sound of it. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. And then we start our French onion French soup. Toasting. Okay, now this is just something you can order on the lunch menu every yeah. day of the week. Yep, we have uh, two different menus, one from 11.30 to 2 p.m. Okay. And then our dinner starts at 5 p.m. and goes until uh, 10 o'clock. Ah. Now, this is this is everyone's favorite part of the French onion soup. You're putting on a little baguette, yep. layering it with some delicious Swiss. Delicious Swiss, for sure. Oh. And I can't imagine what happens after that. Oh! oh. It goes in the salamander. Absolutely. It's singing a little sweet song to us. And then we flip our our meat and our chili peppers. This is a little bit of a southwestern style. Yeah, yeah. The peppers that yeah. like cross the gross beef, maybe not. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a SLC cheesesteak meets French dip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. We definitely we wanted to have a little bit of a twist on it, so we marinate the meat. Uh, and it stays not rare, but you know, kind of a medium rare. Yeah. And then we use an Eva's ciabatta bun for it. Oh, love well, Eva's Bakery just right, right around the corner. How so fun. smart. Best bread in town, I think. James, we know a little about Eva's, yeah? Yeah, we're fans. <laughs> I mean, they do bread so well, and they source from a flour company in Logan, so it, we just spread the love. We right? love it. <laughs> and now you're spreading the love. Oh, uh, what are you putting on that? Look at you. <laughs> so we have uh, chipotle mayonnaise. Oh. And it just kind of it sticks with that southwestern theme a little bit of, of some chilies. We have a little bit of cayenne and paprika yeah. in there to make it spicy. Well, Chef, you are going to finish this up for us. We see some tomatoes here because one thing Martine does really well mm. is se source seasonally. Yeah, love that. Heirloom tomatoes, what, uh, what do you have to share with us about this? So we like to keep all of our tomatoes out of the refrigerator. So the minute they come from the farm, we keep them out. Why? Don't they ripen faster? Or what's, what's the genius behind that? It, to me, it makes the tomatoes mealy if you throw them in the refrigerator. I don't necessarily know the science behind it, but every time I eat a fresh tomato versus something that's been sitting in a refrigerator, it's worlds of difference. Okay, I think that is a declaration that could be today's Taste Utah tip. Taste Utah tip, and you'll have to tune in tomorrow to see French onion soup, French dip, and a beautiful tomato salad. We're gonna sit down with Jenny, chef. Thank you so much. Look at that. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.